Prof and in this video I'm going to talk you through some exam questions related to finding the area of circles. So you might want to grab a pen and paper and your calculator if you're feeling confident and you want to have a go at these first then you can just forward to the end of each example to check to see if you've got it right. Anyway, have fun! of any circle we need to use this formula here pi r squared so that just means we need to multiply pi by the radius of the circle squared now remember the radius is just the distance halfway across the circle in this question they've told us the length of the side of the square and since the circle touches all of the sides here we know the diameter of this circle must also be 15 so to work out the radius you just half the diameter, so half the number 15, so the radius is 7.5 centimetres. So to work out the area, we just do pi times 7.5 squared. So if you put that in the calculator, you should get 176.714... And in my questions, I'm going to be rounding to three significant figures. So one, two, three, but the fourth figure here rounds the six up to the number seven. So I'm left with 177. Don't forget the units for area, they're always squared. So in this question, it's centimetres squared. Question, we have to work out the area of this shaded part here, this ring that's been shaded. And we've been given two circles, one large one here, and we know the diameter is 13 centimetres, and then there's a smaller circle inside that has a radius of 2 centimetres. So just like before, we're going to be using that formula, pi r squared, to work out the area of circles. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out the area of the big circle, and then we're going to subtract the smaller circle so that we're left with the shaded area which is what we need to work out so to work out the area of the large circle I need to know the radius r and at the moment I've got the diameter so remember to work out the radius you just half the diameter so you have to divide that number by 2 well when I divide 13 by 2 I get 6.5 so that's the radius of the large circle. So to work out the area of the large circle, we would do pi times 6.5 squared. Okay, don't forget to square the radius. So that's the area of the large circle. Now remember I said we're going to subtract the smaller circle. So now I'm going to do minus, and I need to write down the calculation for the area of the small circle. Well, the small circle, we already know the radius is 2. So I can just write down the calculation straight away. Pi times 2 squared. So we've got the area of the large circle minus the area of the small circle, which will work out the area of the shaded part, which is what we need. So put that into your calculator all in one go. You should get 120.165. And again, I'm going to round to three significant figures. So one, two, three, and the one doesn't round the zero up, so I'm just left with 120 centimetres squared. Okay, so this question is very similar to the last one in that we're working out the area of the shaded part, so this green ring here. And we need to do that by working out the area of the larger circle and then subtracting the smaller circle that's inside. So before we can work out the area of the circles, we need to know the radius okay, in both of the circles. So let's look at the small circle to start with. We know the diameter is 8 metres and the radius is always half of the diameter. So if we divide the number 8 by 2, so we half it, we get 4. So the radius of the smaller circle is 4 metres. Now for the big circle. So remember the radius is the distance from the centre to the circumference. So this distance here. Well, we know the radius already of the smaller circle. It's always 4. 
So from here to here, we've got four meters, and this distance is always one meter. So this part from here to here is one. So the radius of the larger circle from the middle to the circumference there must be four plus one meters, which is five. So that is the radius of the large circle. So now that we've got the radius of the small circle and the large circle, we can work out the area of the shaded part. The area of the large circle is pi times five squared because the radius is five. Then we have to subtract the smaller one. So this time we're doing pi times four squared because the radius of the smaller one is four. And then you just put it in the calculator. So when you put that in, you get 28.274 dot dot dot. And again, I'm going to round to three significant figures. So one, two, three, but that seven rounds the number two up to the number three. So we have 28.3. Not forgetting in this question, the dimensions are in meters. So this time we write meters squared. Okay, on to the next one. question we have to work out the area of the shaded part so all the bits that are colored in green and we have a rectangle with six identical circles that fit exactly inside the rectangle so to work out the area of those green parts what we need to do is work out the area of the rectangle and then subtract these six circles that are inside and that will leave us with the shaded parts so to work out the area of a rectangle, we must do base multiplied by height. So we need to work out what those are to start with. All we know is that the radius of this circle here is six centimeters. Well, since all of these circles are identical, it means the radius in each of them is always six. And remember, the radius is the distance halfway across the circle. So if this part is six, so is this part here, and so is this distance here, and this distance here, and here, and here. So if you like, we've got six lots of six across the top here. That is the length of the rectangle. Well, six multiplied by six is 36. So that is the length of our rectangle, 36 centimeters. Now I'm going to do the height of the rectangle and I need to do the same thing. I need to look to see what the radius is. Okay, so here it's six, here it's six, and there, and there as well. So when we look vertically, and I'll do this one in green, we've got six there, six here, we've only got four of the radius. So four lots of six. And four lots of six, four times six, is 24. So that is the height of the rectangle. So now we can work out the area of the rectangle, base times height, so 36 multiplied by 24. So I'm just going to write that down before I forget. And then now we need to subtract the six circles. So I'm going to minus six lots of the area of one circle. Now the area of a circle is pi multiplied by the radius squared. We know the radius from the beginning is six. So to work out the area of one of these circles, it's just pi times six squared. But remember, there are six of them. So I'm going to multiply the area of one of them by six, okay? So I'll just put that in brackets so you can see all my working out. This is the area of one of the circles, and then I'm timesing by six because there are six circles. Not forgetting to subtract all of that from the rectangle. So that, is all of the calculation to work out the shaded part. So you can put that all in the calculator in one go. You should get 185.415 dot dot dot. And just like before, I'm going to round to three significant figures. One, two, three, and the four doesn't round that five up. So we're just left with 185. Not forgetting the units, centimeters squared. Okay, one more to finish. So again we have to 
work out the area of the shaded part, so the bit that's coloured in green. And we've been given a square with three quarters of a circle that fit exactly inside that square. So, very similar to the other questions, we're going to work out the area of the square and then subtract the three quarters of a circle that are inside. So, to work out the area of a square, it's just like for a rectangle, base times height. Well, if the height is six, that means the base is also six. So, to work out the area of a square, it's just six times six, which is 36. So, that's the area of the square. So, now we need to subtract the three quarters of a circle that are inside. So we're doing that number 36 minus, now remember, the formula for the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. We know the radius of what would be that full circle. It's given here, it's three centimeters. So we've got pi times three squared, but it's not a whole circle. It's only three quarters of a circle. So what you need to do is you need to multiply the area of a circle by three quarters. Okay, so if you multiply that area of one full circle by three quarters, it will give you this area here. So we've got the area of the square minus three quarters of a circle. So if you put that all in the calculator, that will give you the shaded area. So, when I put that in, I get 14.794 dot dot dot. And just like in all the other questions, I'm going to round to three significant figures. One, two, three. But that nine rounds the number seven up to the number eight, so that we're left with 14.8. Not forgetting the units, centimetres squared.